In the small town of Ravenswood, nestled among towering pines and mist-covered hills, two teenagers, Emily and Jack, were drawn to the abandoned mansion on the outskirts of town. With whispers of its haunted past echoing through the halls of their high school, they couldn't resist the temptation to explore its dark secrets. With her fiery red hair and adventurous spirit, Emily convinced Jack, her childhood friend with tussled brown hair and a skeptical nature, to accompany her on what she promised would be the adventure of a lifetime. As they approached the decaying mansion, the air grew heavy with anticipation. The once grand structure loomed before them like a sleeping beast, its windows shattered and ivy creeping up the crumbling walls. Are you sure about this, Em? Jack asked, his voice wavering slightly. Absolutely! Emily replied, her eyes alight with excitement. Think about it, Jack. This place has been abandoned for years. Who knows what mysteries it holds? Reluctantly, Jack followed Emily through the creaking front door, their footsteps echoing in the empty foyer. The air was thick with dust and the scent of decay, sending shivers down Jack's spine. I don't like this, he muttered, his nerves beginning to fray. <laughs> Emily laughed, the sound echoing off the walls. Don't be such a scaredy cat, Jack. We're just exploring. They ventured further into the mansion, their footsteps echoing through the empty halls. As they passed through the rooms filled with broken furniture and faded portraits, Emily's excitement grew while Jack's unease deepened with every step. Suddenly, a chilling breeze swept through the corridor, extinguishing their flashlights and plunging them into darkness. Emily? Jack called out, his voice trembling. Where are you? But there was no response. Panic rising in his chest, Jack fumbled for his phone, using its faint glow to guide him through the darkness. Emily, this isn't funny. He called out again, his heart pounding in his chest. As he turned a corner, Jack's blood ran cold. There, standing before him in the flickering light of his phone, was a figure cloaked in shadow. Its eyes gleamed with an otherworldly light, sending a chill down Jack's spine. Who are you? He stammered, his voice barely a whisper. The figure said nothing, its gaze on Jack with an intensity that sent shivers down his spine. With a sudden burst of adrenaline, Jack turned and ran, his footsteps echoing through the empty halls. As he raced through the darkness, Jack's mind raced with fear. What was that thing? And where was Emily? Finally, he burst through the mansion's front door, gasping for breath as he stumbled out into the cool night air. But as he looked back at the looming silhouette of the mansion, Jack realized with horror that Emily was nowhere to be found. Frantic, he searched the mansion's grounds, calling out her name into the darkness. But there was no sign of her only the sound of the wind rustling through the trees. Desperate and alone, Jack knew he had to return to the mansion to find Emily. With trembling hands, he made his way back inside, his heart pounding in his chest. Jack could sense a presence watching him from the shadows as he crept through the dark corridors. Every creak of the floorboards, every whisper of the wind, sent a chill down his spine. Finally, he reached the room where he had last seen Emily, his breath catching in his throat as he pushed open the door. And there, standing before him, was Emily, 
her eyes wide with terror. Jack, we have to leave, she whispered, her voice trembling. This place is cursed. But before Jack could respond, the shadows around them began to shift and twist, coalescing into a swirling vortex of darkness. With a deafening roar, the mansion began to crumble around them, its walls crumbling to dust as the void consumed them. In the end, only darkness remained, swallowing Emily and Jack whole as the cursed mansion collapsed upon itself its secrets lost to the ages. And in the years that followed, the town of Ravenswood would speak of the two teenagers who dared to enter the haunted mansion, never to return. The tale of their disappearance would become a legend, A cautionary tale whispered by the town folk to keep others from venturing too close to the shadows of the forgotten mansion. And as time passed, the memory of Emily and Jack would fade, lost to the darkness that claimed them on that fateful night. Years later, a group of adventurous teenagers stumbled upon the mansion's ruins, drawn by the legends of its haunted past. Ignoring the warnings of the townsfolk, they ventured inside, their laughter echoing through the empty halls. But as they explored the decaying mansion, they soon realized they were not alone. Shadows danced in the corners of their vision. Whispers echoed through the empty rooms, and a sense of dread hung heavy in the air. As night fell, the teenagers found themselves trapped within the crumbling walls of the mansion, their screams drowned out by the sound of crumbling stones and the howling wind. And as the darkness closed in around them, they knew that they would never escape the curse that had claimed Emily and Jack so many years before. Time passed, and the mansion remained abandoned, a silent sentinel on the outskirts of Ravenswood. But despite the warnings of the townsfolk, there were always those who dared to venture inside, drawn by the allure of its dark secrets. And as each new group of explorers entered the mansion, they too would vanish without a trace, swallowed by the shadows of the forgotten mansion. And so the cycle continued the legend of Emily and Jack, living on in the whispers of the wind a haunting reminder of the darkness that lurked within the abandoned halls.